Hey, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures, and I am at Idlewild Butterfly uh, Farm and Insectarium. And we are going to see some insect friends today, and butterflies, and a bunch of cool stuff. And that is actually in the Shelby Park neighborhood of Louisville, Kentucky. So, uh, you know, come on down. They do a bunch of education stuff. It's really cool. So, get to see me hold some insects today. Yep, that's what they look like. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Put the skull back down Is there. Is that an animal skull or a human skull? It's a real human skull. Yeah. So somebody reached their, you know, set their head down into a cockroach pit. So these are going to be the only critters on the tour today that you can actually purchase as pets if you fall in love with cockroaches. They're $8 a piece and we will sell you a mail so you don't have an entire group unless you're just really gung-ho about cockroaches. Some people are like, yes, just like load me up. These are called blue death fainting beetles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great... Are they dangerous? No. So the reason they have the name death fainting beetle is much like possums, they play dead. So, let's see if somebody's going to do it. It's cool. They look like blueberries. How awesome. There we go. They look like spiders. Oh, yeah, you need to put your legs in a different position. Yeah. Is that not? There. Can I hold one? And then, oh, wow. flip. Yes, absolutely. So, these guys are kind of the opposite of the cockroaches. They won't hang on. So, just hold them over the container in case it falls. Because there's no grip to these. Now, this is the one critter you can panic with. If the legs start feeling too tickly or stuff, you can flip it right in. It's fine. These are extremely sturdy beetles. I have preschoolers reach their hands in here. It's like, pick your favorite beetle. And I haven't lost a leg yet. So, where are they? Level here. Ooh, it looks too much like a spider. I want to cut it. Yeah, they do have the spidery look just because they've got the skinny legs. Uh, but you count them up. they got six legs, not eight. All right, put your hand over the. Thing. All right. And this is, gonna come, like I said, it's going to come right over to you. So, if you. It's going to move pretty slow, but it still might move. See? It just looks too yep. And then, whoop, and then just brace for that tickle. And then you can bring them down a little. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so the tickle. Yep, it's just all about having a bunch of little tiny legs on you. If you're not used to it, it's just tickly. I am. He does. He likes to pick up and carry around ants. So strange. Oh, yeah. They just look like so these are totally harmless, and they actually, they look kind of scary just because of the thing they do with their tails. They'll keep them curled like a scorpion sometimes. Well, first off, Hi. Hi. So they will wave. They're very friendly. Hello. Yep. Hey there. They also dance a lot, so these are going to be dancing bugs. So as she walks around on my hand, she is going to be moving from side to side. Yeah, yeah, do a big wave. Oh, this one's a girl. This one is a girl. And then she'll occasionally curl up that tail a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so if you want to hold her, you just got to, you know, it's going to be a lot of little legs, and she is going to be kind of oh, 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 kind of moving around. There you go. Daddy doesn't feel anything. And there we go. She's got the scorpion look. Oh, like he, he does. You don't feel heat or anything. Like, there we that's go. Why you count that one. Uh, and then you gotta do a wave on the end. <laughs> Big pose. Andrew, do you want to? You want to try? Yes. All right, have mommy help you. All right. Yeah. Ooh, Eva. Hello. Wow. Not so scary when we wave. Hello. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So okay. It's a okay. prickly Freeze. leaf insect. Yep, I got it. Right. Andrew's like, oh my god. I will catch her before she goes on anyone's face. <laughs> Feels like that's totally fun. Yeah, so she, she'll even curl it nicely for you, so you can just like... It's actually really cool with the uh, petting. The, the biggest females, whenever they have their tail curled over, they are super soft underneath. Which is weird for an insect, but they are very soft. Oh yeah, and then you can make her wave. You know I get at anybody that jumps. She's not a jumper. 
So this is my one that is going to hang on very tight. What's the deal with uh, the spike? Yes, so this is normally the part that worries people. So this is just how I know this is a female. This is called her ovipositor. It's what she uses to bury her eggs in the ground. And even though she would really like you to think it's a stinger and she will wave it if she's feeling aggressive, it's totally harmless. So I can even poke at it. I know, you really enjoy me doing that. But yeah, so I'll get her yep, a little more acclimated. Yeah, you can start walking around, honey. I don't know if I've gotten her out before, but she seems to be doing okay. Let's see. All six legs, all six legs. And if we're real lucky, she'll do a wave off the end. Occasionally, they'll do a wave. Are you thinking about it? Sometimes when they see the uh, light from the camera, they'll do little poses for it. Oh, uh, all right. I'll put and this is the thorny devil stick? Yes. Thorny oh. devil walking stick. So she's from Malaysia. Yeah. From Malaysia. Southeast Asian species. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's Ooh. very cool. Catch her before she gets too high up on, on your arm and gets too tickly. She's got a very pretty color. I wish I had some babies right now for comparison. They're bright green. Oh, is that why? There's like little bits of green. Yeah. Sometimes they'll have, yeah, a little bit left over of that green. Sometimes they have a little bit of a red color. So there's a little bit of color variation. Thing that they can kind of grab and hang on to. The crickets tend to be tend to be the main thing. Yeah, just see what she feels like. There we go. Yeah, just a light touch. Yeah. I like to She is soft. She's soft and sweet. And tarantulas are really nice about letting you know if they don't feel well. So if she were feeling aggressive right now, she'd be moving around real fast, and she'd probably be throwing some hairs at me. <laughs> uh, so on her abdomen, when they throw... I'm pretty sure that today, today we are at a insectarium, and right now we are in the butterfly house. Do you see any butterflies, Andrew? I did. Are you watching carefully for the ground and in the air? Yep. And do you see any? Not yet. No. I see one on the other side. You see one on the other side? Go around. Go around. Watch your feet. This one right here. Yeah. So that was Idlewild. It was a lot of fun. We had a good time here and we learned a lot from, about the different insects. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the, seeing us hold the different insects and uh, see the butterflies. Andrew, what was your favorite part? Um, I think my favorite part was holding the stick insects. The stick insects, yeah. yeah but Eva, what was your favorite part? I like seeing the little stick insects you, wave. The little one wave, the yeah. One, that was right? cute. It was cute when it was waving. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little scary. So, yeah, my favorite, um, favorite one of the stakes was the big one. Yeah. Well, this is Drew Bennett from Ben's Park Family Adventures along with... Eva. And... <laughs> I'm Eva, by the way. Yeah. Not him. <laughs> and we're just having a family adventure out in Kentucky in the, uh, the Shelby Park uh, neighborhood of Shelby Louisville. Thanks for watching. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Ben's Park, Facebook.com slash Ben's Park Family Adventures, and you can find us making videos all the time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and tell us in the comments what kind of insects you like the most.